He is immortal. Born in the highlands of Scotland 400 years ago, he is not alone. There are others like him, some good, some evil. For centuries, he has battled the forces of darkness, with holy ground his only refuge. He cannot die unless you take his head and with it his power. In the end, there can be only one. He is Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander. I didn't know you played. I don't. It was a great set tonight, Joe. Yeah, thanks. Good night, Mac. Good night, Joe. Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod. Who are you? Who are you? Show yourself. Get out of my way. We'll fight. Duncan, I have a fantastic idea. I'm playing hooky this morning, so I thought that, I don't know, maybe you and I can go out and do something fun together. What do you say? Yeah, I'm not in the mood. That is exactly why we should go out. Come on, a little sunshine, a little fresh air. What do you say? And Duncan, I really think you could use the break. And it's 
nothing to worry about. It was just a nightmare. Yeah, but it's been going on night after night. Your pulse is like 200. I can barely wait. Are you going to tell me you're counting sheep again? Yeah, I'm counting sheep. <sighs> There's an art show downtown. Okay. Why don't I go home and get changed, and maybe you can pick me up in about an hour. Okay. And Duncan? You would tell me if there's something really wrong, wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I? Okay. seen him for a couple of days. What's he been doing? Hiding on me? No, but he has been having trouble sleeping lately. Oh, huh. really? So, who's your friend? Oh, Ann, this is uh, Corey Littman, but uh, I'm going to call him Corey Lightning. Hi, I'm Ann Lindsay. Hi. Corey Lightning. You don't like it? It's too flashy? How about just Corey Light? Well, that depends. Is he a professional wrestler? Ann, my man here is a musician. Oh, what do you play? Guitar. Oh, what kind of stuff? Rock? Rock. Blues, anything. And you should hear him. He is awesome. A little help, a little uh, agenting, and this kid is going all the way. Yeah, with you as his agent? Well, sure. Why not? I get Joe to give him a show. I pack the house, get a couple of our guys down to listen, and ba boom, Corey's career is taken off. That's great. Would you excuse me for a second? And uh, are you really uh, worried about McLeod? You want me to go upstairs and check on him? Well, that's a good idea. Why don't you bring Mr. Lightning? Mac could use some cheering up. right now. So, uh, whose idea was this? Critics called it a smash. <laughs> they would. That would look good in your waiting room. Half my patients would die on the spot. I don't have a waiting room. Man, this guy must have had one hell of a childhood. Duncan? You all right? Sorry. You don't look very good. Are you sick? It's one of the better reactions they get. <laughs> Garrick, where in the world have you been? Uh, working, studying. Out of circulation, you know how it is. Oh, um, I want you to meet uh, John Garrick. Uh, this is Dr. Ann Lindsay. I think he has something to do with this. Oh, you must be the sculptor. Oh, just an old stone carver who sells a little work at inflated prices. But don't you tell me? Okay. Oh, excuse me. Reality calls. So how you been, John? I'm good. Really good. It's been a long time. Anywhere, if that smell means anything. It's the witches you smell. 
Give me a coin, and I'll give you a charm against such things. You need no charms, old woman. You could use some food. Good day. Good day. A seeker friend. Garrick, Stonecutter. Do you know where I might find him? At the trials. With the other witches. Familiars, Margaret of Devon, you stand convicted of witchcraft. Curses me, get it in God's name what happened. Gone, Claire. Gone. Juliana? And her son? Gone. Dear God, how? There was a fire. The whole house. I watched. I couldn't get to them in time. Old fashioned. I will set this right. You are to be burned at the stake. May God redeem your soul. It's only a frightened girl and a cat. I am a core evil. Bring in the stone cutter. He is no witch. He's broken by grief. All he needs is sleep. No! That is when the demons come. Be still, gay. They leave me no peace. He is possessed. He is half mad. Surely you know his wife is dead. Their son burnt in a fire. And he saw them die. That is not witchcraft. It is when he saw them from 20 miles away in a vision. I have the sight, but it's not evil. We know what real evil is, do we not, McLeod? We live in hell. You want real evil? Then what? There's a bloody fire. In that case, you are clearly guilty. What about it, McLeod? You know we will not die. I still wish we could. No, leave me! I will die like a man! Remember what Michelangelo said sculpture was? Freeing the shape from the stone. I hammer it into the stone. I capture my fears. 
Let him free him. Keeps me sane, Dunk. They even make me a few bucks. Actually, uh, I'd like you to have this one. You sure? I'd be honored. Hospital? Yeah. Unless it is nice to be needed, I'd be shot. Time for me to work the crowds. For your sake, I hope you've improved. I hope you come see me. Doctor? Derek seems pretty level-headed. Why shouldn't he be? No, I look at that kind of work and I picture a kid who's spent his childhood sticking pins into things. He's had his share of problems. Mm. Oh, you'd never know it. So how long since you've seen each other? Ages. Yeah. Party was getting out of hand. I offered to give him a ride. Yeah. Like a designated driver? Sort of. You know, uh, you can stay if you want to. I miss all this time with you? Weapon officer. He was just showing it to me. And who is he? Bruce Lee? <laughs> he's an antique dealer. But believe me, he's fine. I'm a doctor. Okay, Doc. And, uh, Bruce, keep this thing at home. Thank you. Duncan. Duncan, you are really worrying me. We have to talk. Don't you have work to do? And I don't need a doctor. Then what the hell were you doing with the sword? It's a dangerous world out there. You were hallucinating back there. That could mean any number of things. It could be epilepsy, or it could be a tumor. Maybe a bad pastrami sandwich? I don't think so. And I know you care, but I need a chance to work this out on my own. Hallucinations? Yeah, they happen. I just wanted to know if you knew why. Well, all the crap you guys go through. I'm surprised you're not all nuts. Darius wasn't. Constantine, Amanda, I could name a bunch of others. What are you looking for, McLeod? A reason. A pattern. Some way to stop it. itself to the subject matter, don't you think? <laughs> I'm glad you came. When I saw you. I wasn't sure you'd be happy to see me again. I was a pain in the ass the last time we met. That's all in the past. Right now I could use your help. How could I help you? By telling me what it was like. Insane. You 
talked about your demons once. What were they like? Mine were a person. This one wears a hood. You've seen it? Several times. You know what I'm talking about? Talk to me about McCoy. He just doesn't seem his usual self. I don't know. Maybe he's having a bad week. Uh, it's more than that. Look, Dawson, he's an immortal. He's not like other people. Maybe you just don't understand him. Yeah, maybe I don't. Look, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Trust me. Mac is fine. So, about the club. Are we on? It's done. It's done. Cool. I'll see you later. Yeah. You're saying this is a racial memory? Something we all share? That's what Carl Jung called it. I saw them all, McLeod, the hacks, the butchers, finally Freud and Jung. Anyone who could help me learn how the mind works. I spent more time in analysis than anyone in history. They were right. We carry the fears inside us all the time. But what is it? Something from the dark end of your mind. Death, McLeod. That's what you're afraid of. That's what you're really facing. Why now? Why after so long? Because of how we live, what we do. It's only a matter of time for all of us. After all, part of us is still mortal. How do I stop it? You realize it comes from your mind. That it's illusion that's it if I could do more I would you have to do the rest yourself in here <laughs> Scare up the two boneheads. I got the record company to send them down practically and fight my way past the secretary. So, uh, you think they'll go for him? No. If they buy him, they buy him. If they don't, you've done what you can. I didn't want to call the loft because I was kind of hoping you were sleeping. I was just doing a little light reading. Well, about today. I didn't mean to come across like Albert Schweitzer. I just. I just want to let you know that I'm thinking about you. 
No, you just wanted to know if I'd seen anybody yet. <laughs> okay, smart guy. Did you? Yes. I'm getting a handle on it, Anne. You can stop worrying. I tried that. It didn't work. Good night. Good night. Richie. Subconscious. You're subconscious like as in Freud. Young, actually. All right, whatever. So this thing that's coming after you, this is not a real thing. It's like a, uh, a Freddy Krueger kind of thing. Well, that's not exactly how the books put it, but that's the idea. Here, put this one. Thanks. Well, what's it supposed to be? The unknown. Death. At least that's what Garrick thinks. Garrick. Who's Garrick? And is Garrick a shrink? Garrick is an immortal who studied the mind for centuries. He's seen the same thing. Mac, are you sure about all this? I'm not sure about anything, Rich. I just know I keep seeing it. Look, if I were you, I'd get some R&R real soon. So far, you just owe me a shirt. medical history. What do you mean no medical history? Everybody's got a medical history. Well, it's not in any data bank I can find. Are you sure this guy's real? Yeah, he's real. Well, then either he doesn't believe in Blue Cross or he has one hell of an immune system. All I can tell you is he's never been admitted to any hospital and he, there are no medical records for him. Dr. Is that lucky? Is this guy a patient of yours? No, um, he's a I thought you liked this place. Is there something wrong with salmon? No, it's fine. I'm just not hungry. Okay, let's skip this small talk. What, uh, what did this guy you went to see have to say? It's nothing physical. Oh, well, that would be really good news if he knew which end of the stethoscope to stick in his ear. Why wouldn't he? Because you don't go to doctors, Duncan. I ran a search on your medical records, and guess what? There aren't any. So what, are you going to tell me you've got great genes? You shouldn't have done that, Anne. Well, maybe you should start explaining a couple of things to me, like how you missed ever seeing a doctor. Maybe you should mind your own business. Excuse me, but I, I thought we were in a relationship. He went behind my back. I care. Then give me some rum! What are you looking at? You never seen an argument before? I'm sorry.
How'd you beat shadows? How'd you fight something that doesn't exist? You don't. Fighting it is the worst thing you can do. The illusion feeds off your fear. But it's so damn real! It just keeps coming. It's only real if you make it real. Don't try and fight it. But where is this going? Imagine a cliff with no bottom. You're on the edge of that cliff. You make the wrong choice now. You fall forever. Duncan. There's nothing to lose. And your sanity to get back. Really glad you called me. Well, I, I guess I overreacted. Mm. Yeah, I think we both did. Getting any sleep? Yeah, enough. Oh, really? You don't look like it. I still have my sparkling personality. <laughs> I can stop it. Stop what? Stop pretending like everything's okay when you know damn well that it's not. And I'm fighting this. I'll get over it. Just need some time. Then let me help you. You can. It's afraid you'd say that. What are those? Well, if you won't get any help, at least I figure you can get some sleep. Is that why you came to see me? Hey, it's my first house call in years. I never was one for pills. Or doctors. And I'll get through this, trust me.
You look down, Richie. She didn't get that deal? Corey did, I didn't. Two jerks told me to get a new agent. I mean, how do you like that? You know, I get him his break, I get him a little recognition, and he dumps me. And show business was your life. Hey, it's a joke, son. What's going on with McLeod? He's not good. And what happened? He came after me. He didn't even know who I was. He was in some kind of other world, fighting some hallucination. Joe, I don't know what the hell's going on with him. He could be losing it. The guy's gone 400 years without really a problem. I mean, he's like a rock. Yeah. 400 years of all your friends dying, everyone after your head. Maybe he's been a rock for too long. You believe all this head shrinking stuff? You know, Jung, Freud, all that business? What have you been studying? You know, Max's been talking to some guy named Garrick. Garrick? John Garrick? Yeah, he's trying to straighten out Max's head. <sighs> Garrick's the wrong one to talk to. The man's insane, and he has been for centuries. Is there anything I can get you? You know, you want something to eat? How about a flick? You want to watch a flick? Mac? I don't need a babysitter, Richie. Hey, there's no question about that. You know, I'm just trying to help out here. What scares you the most? I'll hurt myself or somebody else. Knock it off, Mac. Come on, Richie. You know, sometimes you need to listen to somebody else, Mac. You can't do everything alone. No, I don't think that's a very good idea. I came after you once. If it happens again, you do whatever on, it takes Matt, to survive. It's not gonna happen again. You do whatever you need. No! I can't kill you. I can't! You better try. Because you're not gonna get a second chance. Oh, God. I can't deal with this anymore.
Garrick, why? I was your friend! Because you left me. I guess you have no idea what it's like to be burned alive. What are you talking about? They burned me. Can you imagine the smell of your own skin blistering? <laughs> I never knew. And I never forgot. I always had the gift of vision, McLeod. I just got better at it. I spent the years learning how to control the dreams, to project them, to make you live what I went through. How does it feel, huh? How does it feel? In your dreams. psychic stuff was just another scam. But the way Garrett got into your head. There are more things in heaven or hell, Horatio, than are written in your stars. Remember that one? Yeah. But what a waste. You mean Garrick? Mac, he tried to kill you. What's to waste? Insight. Knowledge. He spent centuries understanding his own mind. If only he could have shared what he knew. But he didn't. You know, I'm a split. I got a new bass player. Dawson's gonna let sit with the band. And I'll get rid of this thing. Mac, it's good to have you back. Professional speaking. And whatever happened, it's over. I'm sorry if I hurt you. Oh, you know me, I'm bulletproof. No, you're not. I came here to tell you, um... Damn, it's gonna be harder than I thought. Then make it easy. Just say it.
I always thought that when I met um, the guy, that we'd uh, be inside each other, feel each other, really, really know each other. I don't know you, Duncan. And the truth is, I really don't think you want me to. <laughs>